Hi, my name is Narin Tan Shalubinti Ajni from School of Education, taking PC as my major, and I'm also a first year student. My job is a scriptwriter. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Alia Munira Binti Azman. I am from School of Education, a first year student, taking physics as my major and I'm an editor. Hi, my name is Nur Izzat Aifa Binti Mat Yusuf. I am from School of Education, a first year student, taking physics as my major and I am a presenter. Do you know what is that? There is germicidal UV lamp. Have you been here about it before? No? It's okay. Now I'm going to tell you guys a special story about germicidal UV lamp. Germicidal UV or UVC is part of the ultraviolet spectrum best known for its ability to inactivate pathogens like bacteria and viruses. Germicidal UV is used to disinfect rooms and surfaces. As of today, we know that COVID-19 can live on certain surfaces for up to 3 days. So it's critical to disinfect regularly. And UVC light is very effective at eliminating 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. Do you know UV wavelength can range anywhere from 10 to 400 nanometers but the effective UVC that is used for this infection have wavelength between 200 to 280 nanometers. So make sure your UV light is emitting this wavelength. A germicidal UV lamp is an electric light that produces ultraviolet C or it is based known as UVC light. This is a short wave ultraviolet light disrupts DNA base pairing causing formation of pyrimidines dimers and leads to the inactivation of bacteria, viruses and protozoans. It can also be used to produce ozone for water disinfection. They are also used in ultraviolet germicidal irradiation. There are four common types available which are low pressure mercury lamps, high pressure mercury lamps, Excimer lamps and last but not least LED. Germicidal lamp use liquid HG that vaporizes when a steady voltage is applied, causing a low pressure HG vapor to form and normally operate at approximately 20 and 30 to 35 overall efficiency in converting electric to UV power. Okay, okay, enough about the fact of germicidal UV lamp. Now, let's all of us proceed to the next interesting part, which is about the function of it. So, let's jump into it. Lamps are used to sterilize workspaces and tools used in biology laboratories and medical facilities. If the cord's envelope transmits shorter wavelengths, such as the 185 nanometer mercury emission line, they can also be used wherever ozone is desired. For example, in the sanitizing system of hot tubs and aquariums. They are also used by geologists to provoke fluorescence in mineral samples, aiding in their identification. In this application, the light produced by the lamp is usually filtered to remove as much visible light as possible, leaving just the UV light. Germicidal lamps are also used in wastewater treatment in order to kill microorganisms. Hmm, are you curious about how this magical device works? What? Okay, let's go. First and foremost, a UV lamp is different from a regular lamp because it's typically made of quartz instead of glass. Inside, there is an inert gas mixed with mercury. Next, when the lamp is plugged in, the electricity reacts with the mercury and the lamp produces UV light. Lastly, the type of UV light emitted depends on the pressure inside the lamp. You know what? The germicidal UV lamp also has its pros and cons. The advantages of it, it is very damaging to germs bacteria and tiny invisible monster that can ruin your day. It also can kill viruses. 
They say kill but viruses are really technically alive but they are made up of DNA and RNA and both are those are quite easily broken apart by exposure to UVC. So at a reasonably close range, say in a small room for example, these lamps are very effective at killing viruses that remain on surfaces. Secondly, one side effective emitting strong UVC in air is the production of ozone. Some bulbs have a coating on the crystal tube that blocks the wavelength that produce ozone. Thirdly, portability in terms of size. For travel or everyday users, it is best since it can fit in a small bag and is protected against breakage. Hmm, throughout all of these advantages, you still have the drawback. So now, we are going to dive into the S advantages of germicidal UV lamp. First and foremost, humans also happen to have a fair amount of DNA and RNA, and that's where the dangers are. Next, a close range exposure to high intensity of UVC can cause a sunburn and repeated exposure can cause a skin cancer. For example, if there is only a 25 watt bulb but it can produce such a high intensity of UVC and it can start damaging skin. In addition, the eyes are another very vulnerable part of the body as just a few seconds looking straight to the lamp can cause damage itself on the surface of cornea. Have you satisfied after hearing the explanation about germicidal UVC lamp? Great! So far, based on what we are sharing just now, it can be concluded that the germicidal UVC lamp has its pros and cons. However, the disadvantages of it can be reduced by following some precaution steps. For example, check the instruction first before using it. Next, we have to be extremely careful not to expose people or pets to the light as well do not breathe in the ozone that it produces. UVC technology is a non-chemical approach to disinfection. In this method of disinfection, nothing is added which makes this process simple, inexpensive and requires very low maintenance. Ultraviolet purifiers utilize germicidal lamps that are designed and calculated to produce a certain dosage of ultraviolets. The principle of design is based on a product of time and intensity. You must have a certain amount of both for a successful design. 